So the first strategy, I'm not gonna lie to you, is to run away. That's right. You don't want to be in a fight if you can avoid it, right? So first of all, just run away. If you see someone bigger and stronger and they're about to hit you or about to start a fight, don't be a hero, don't be a tough guy. Just run or just walk the other direction as fast as you can, okay? It's better to survive and not get hurt in a fight than to get your ass kicked in a fight because it's not fair. If someone's bigger than you, is stronger than you, it's not a fair fight. Why would you want to, you know, do that and then get hurt? Okay, so first strategy is run away. The next strategy is to attack the sensitive and vulnerable targets and then run away, okay? So what are the most vulnerable targets on any attacker, regardless of the size? Is number one, the eyes, okay? No matter how many weights you can lift, how much you can bench press, right? Um, and all the training he, he does, you can't train how strong your eyeballs are. So it doesn't take much, just a little tap on the eyeballs and he's gonna, it's gonna hurt, okay? So, ooh, like that, right? <laughs> so, first of all, is to hit him in the vulnerable spot. So, the number one technique would be the finger jab, okay? Boom. Or just open it, open your hands on his face, and one of the fingers will stab him in the eyes, right? So, you see a big guy trying to, you know, trying to start fighting, boom, and then run away. Okay? Second target would be a throw, right in the middle here. See, there's a V on your neck, there's a V here. Put your fingers right into the V here. Okay, and just uh, push, uh, and then run. Okay, it doesn't take much pressure to create discomfort and to create pain. And there's another area that you can't really train, even if you're bigger and stronger. The third one is boom, oh, the balls, right? Boom, oh, balls. Okay, so learn how to kick the balls really fast and undetectable. Okay, so use the shadow kick that I showed you in the other video. The top um, five most dangerous um, self-defense techniques. So shadow kick and the balls. Unless you're a Shaolin monk, you probably don't train your balls to get stronger. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how, how many weights you can lift, how big you are, how strong you are, how heavy you are, your balls are vulnerable. Okay, so start, strike those vulnerable targets. Eyes, throat, balls, and then run away. Okay, other ways you can strike the balls and just punch them out like this. Okay, or slap, boom. Okay, or just punch them in the throat. Okay, so strategy number two is to fight an opponent that is bigger and stronger than you is to use the vulnerable targets. Uh, totally illegal in any kind of competitive sport, like boxing or kickboxing or any kind of MMA even. All right, but um, this is a street fight, right? So it's not fair, he's bigger and stronger than you. Why would you fight fair against someone who is not fair to start off with? Okay, so you need to be fight dirty, nasty, keep it simple and savage. That's what you gotta do. Boom, throat, balls, or balls this way, okay? And, and run away. Third strategy is to hit as hard as you can. Now, if he is bigger than me and I'm smaller, I better hit as hard as I can because that's only gonna be maybe 25% of his power, right? So you gotta learn how to train so that you can hit as hard as you can without hurting yourself. And one way to do that is using the power palm, right? Boom, okay? And on the face, not on the chest, right? Because you don't want to punch in a street fight. Because unless you're very accurate, you can punch this soft part. This is the soft, soft part of the face, right? Around here, okay? If you can punch in the jaw or the chin or the throat, that's okay, your knuckles are fine. But once you try to punch the teeth, you're gonna get stitches on your hand, you're gonna get an infection. You don't want that, okay? Or even punch up on the eyebrows or the, on the crown here, you're gonna break your fist, okay? So if you wanna, so the strategy number three is to hit as hard as you can safely, which is use the palm, right? Bam! Okay, it doesn't take much to really knock the guy backwards, okay? So you wanna be able to have a really good, really good power palm, okay? Practice that. So if you're gonna practice three techniques and get really good at self-defense, these are the three techniques that you must know to fight someone who is bigger and stronger than you. First is finger jab, okay? You can go here or here. The second one is flick kick, okay? That's like that, boom. Use your toe to flick the ball, all right? The third one is power palm, bam. Okay, get really good at those three. That's all you need to train because you're not here to stay and try to spar and see what he's gonna do. Boom, run away, okay? Boom, run away. Or boom, run away. Okay, so if you want to fight someone bigger and stronger than you, the key is don't fight. Self-defense. Use self-defense. Defend yourself. 
fight dirty, use an attack on his vulnerable spots, hit as hard as he can, okay, and then run. Okay? So those are three strategies for you for fighting someone who is bigger and stronger than you. I hope you like that.